All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off and foremost, as always, I want to say, Call Hulain Wala, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakudash, and double honor be unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone, that do rule and teach well. And of course, a sincere shalom to you, Ankim out there, that pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, so in today's lesson, I'm going to go on. Uh, go into the uh, meaning of the word deliverance all right and, you know and that's what we hope you know uh to be okay delivered okay because you know we're in captivity man all right we're not in our kingdom we're not in rulership you know we're uh, heavily oppressed here all right this is not our rest you know uh, everything here is is out of order everything here is you know disorderly you know, everything here is wicked. The minds of the people are just way off, all right? And Esau is, you know, he's starting to roll out, you know, um, his NWO, okay? And we and we have to be delivered, you know, from this place, man, this this cesspool of a, of a, of a, uh, a kingdom, all right? So, real quick, this is the meaning of the word deliverance and the uh, online etymology. A dictionary all right and it says an action of setting free a physical or spiritual senses it says to set free um wait hold up well this is all right excuse me Salakia. So like, i want to get the word deliver all right but you know it goes also it goes also into deliverance as well. All right, so this is the meaning of the word delivered. Excuse me. It says to save, rescue, to set free, to set free, um, to liberate. All right, and that's what we seek, man. All right, we we uh, seek liberation. All right, we are uh, hoping to be saved out of this, you know, this uh, this hellhole, so to speak. Okay, because ultimately, you know, the elect, you know. You know, ultimately, evidently, they're going to be delivered, you know, out of the, um, you know, the uh, the final judgment that's going to happen upon Babylon. And that's going to be the nuclear destruction. OK, but ultimately, you know, you know, us as Israelites. OK, we we, we need, you know, we, we, we got to be set free, man. OK, so that way, you know, we can rule. So that way we can, you know, reset order, you know, the earth. And that's going to be done by Yahweh by Shemal Shah. OK, because even though you got wicked Jake's out here, you know, you got wicked Israelite like camps out here, you know, well, excuse me, leaders, I should say, you know. Now, of course, it was, you know, it's about the elect, you know, but, you know, our people, you know, they're, you know, they're through, man. You know, this place keeps, you know, prolonging, you know, hey, man, this, you know, how should I say the best? He said that no flesh shall be saved. All right. This place will be, man, it will get worse. OK. And people here, you know, you know, they'll get uh, uh, even worse. All right. Especially our people. So it says deliver. It means to save, rescue or set free. To uh, set free or preserve a right hand over or liberate. Now, real quick, let's go into the word liberate. All right. <clears throat> and all right, copy, paste that real quick. In the world, oh man, just my phone just messed up on me. It's like it. All right, this phone acting stupid now. It's like it, bear, just bear with me real quick. All right, so the word liberate, man, Satan's working. All right, so it says, uh, liberate to set free. To release from restraint or bondage, and that's what we need. All right, the Lord's people, you know, and mainly the elect, you know, we're going to be uh, set free, okay? Because what do we say in Jeremiah uh, fifty? Let's get that because it says it said that we have to be because the word liberate means to release to release from restraint or bondage. All right, let's get this real quick. St. Jeremiah 50 and verse 33 and it says <clears throat> this said the Lord of hosts the children of Israel and the children of Judah 
were oppressed together. And, and that's talking about the two kingdoms, the South Kingdom, excuse, excuse me, the, the Southern Kingdom. All right. Judah, Benjamin, Levi and the whole Northern Kingdom. OK, Ephraim, uh, Simeon, Agad, Reuben, Iskar, Zebulon, Naphtali. All right. So on and so forth. Manasseh. Talk about the, the children of Israel. All right. And it says we're oppressed together. Right, man. We're oppressed together here, here in Babylon. OK. This place. <laughs> listen, man, this place is a fucking hellhole, man. All right. Getting shot down the streets. OK, you know, you, you getting, you know, the uh, last hired first fired. All right. Child support. OK. You got the fucking the devil always constantly down your neck. All right. The fucking woman. All right. You know, they, they want to be lord over you. All right. Everything here for, you know, for the Israelite man mainly is hell, man. Now, of course, you know, the woman, you know, you know, they're just whatever, you know, they catch hell, too. But but mainly the Israelite man. All right. This is truly oppression for the Israelite man. And we, and we need to be uh, uh, set free, saved. OK, liberated. All right. And it says, and all that took them captives held them fast. Right, man. And, and, and right now we're captives. We're POWs, prisoners of war right now, man. All right. Because right now, you know, we're under the uh, foot, the, uh, the subjection of Esau Edom. All right. And it says held them fast, meaning what? Meaning tight. All right. Right now he got us under his, uh, uh, his, his foot, under his control, so to speak. And it says they refuse to let them go. Right, man. So Esau don't want to let us go. All right. And that's why just like, you know, uh, uh, in ancient Egypt, okay, dealing with Pharaoh. All right. Uh, Moses went to, you know, Pharaoh and, and through Yahweh. Yahweh gave uh, Moses, you know, um, you know, the message. And, uh, and Moses went to the Pharaoh. And what did Moses say? Let my people go. All right. And Pharaoh, he didn't want to do that. Okay. Because the Lord hardened his heart so that way he can show his power. Okay. And just like today, you know, today here in, uh, uh, in spiritual Egypt, Esau do not want to let us go. And that's why he says what? They refused to let us go. Okay. But soon you have small shots is, is going to redeem us. Okay. And that's why it says this. Verse 34. It says the Redeemer is strong. Okay, who is that? Yahweh Shai. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Okay, so Yahweh Shai is going to return here. Okay, deliver his elect. Okay. And then after that, you know, simultaneously, this place is going to be brought down low. Okay, destroyed according to biblical prophecy. All right. The Lord is going to bring a... a uh, harsh judgment, okay, righteous judgment upon this th this wicked ass kingdom, okay, because because it deserve it, it uh, deserves judgment, all right, it it deserves to be you know brought down low, it deserves to be an um, overthrown, okay, because everything you see here is temporal, all right, and things and things the uh, things that are temporal do not last long, all right. <clears throat> Just the book of Revelation. Eighteen and verse uh, four. And it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. OK, and that's and that's talking about deliverance. The, the, all right. Uh, those chariots are going to uh, beam us up. All right. Let's talk about that, man. All right. It's not talking about, you know, you know, actually, you know, coming out of the ways of Babylon and, you know, not doing as people do here in Babylon, you know, and, you know, and uh, not partaking in the ways of this system. OK, it's talking about, you know, actual deliverance. All right. Talking about uh, uh, being so-called uh, so uh, ab abducted. All right. From so-called UFOs, just like how you house shy was. All right. Talking about being uh, being delivered. OK, being set free, uh, being. Uh, liberated okay being saved okay because people think that we're uh, because people because people think you know what 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 we're, we're really christians i should say you know these these, these christians think that you know they're so-called save they say you know uh, uh jc three times well no nah, you're not saved 
Okay, because the scriptures say that we are not saved yet. All right. And if you're saved, what do you save from? You're still here in hell, man. You're not saved. You're still here catching hell and being oppressed. All right. You still uh, uh you're still here uh, uh you know uh, um uh, um how can I say it um being trodden down by Esau. All right. So so you're not saved yet. All right. And that's why it says in the book of um, Deuteronomy, it says that no man shall buy you. OK, if you go into the word buy, I believe in me save. No man shall save you. All right. And now that's why how I said, if you go into the book of Isaiah, the first seven chapter, it says that I should not meet thee as a man. OK, so how is not going to come as a regular man to set us free. He's going to come in his angelic form, you know, and, you know, in his world like apparel. To deliver his uh his people, his elect, all right, to, to uh to uh to, to come save his woman, the elect, from from wicked ass E, man, okay, because right now Esau got his pinned down trying to, you know, cut you know uh, trying to, trying to uh defile us, okay, but guess what, the elect are calling out, all right, we're assigning crying about everything that he's doing and exposing him, all uh, right, uh through how about Shmuel Shai, and that's why how Shai is gonna come. And return and set us free and save us from this damn devil. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah. Um, let me see. 26 and verse 20. And it says, come my people into down to thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the until the indignation be overpassed. And what's that? Talking about the, the chariots, man. Okay. What's the chambers? Those chariots. All right. Come into thy chambers. Okay. And I believe if you go into a chamber, let's get it real quick. If you go into a chamber. Let's see. All right. Excuse me. This, this phone is acting crazy, man. All right. Damn. All right, so lucky, but this phone is just, man, say it, man. But, you know, just keep going. So if you go into a chamber, you know, it really, it means um, like a like a parlor. You know, and the parlor is, is, is a parlor is, is a basically, basically a room, a, 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 a private room for important people. Okay. And, and who's that? The elect. You know, because 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 only the elect have the golden ticket, all right, the golden ticket for deliverance. Now let's go to verse twenty one, Isaiah twenty six and verse twenty one. It says, "For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain." Okay, so how about Shmuel Shai is not only gonna come and and deliver the elect, but also come and you know and uh, and, and judge his place, all right. Just like how you see the movie ID4, Independence Day with Will Smith. Okay, it's going to be just like that. But way, way, way more vividly. Okay, it's going to be a day that you <laughs> can never even fathom. All right. Things things are going to get very, uh, very, you know, uh, uh, dark and gloomy out here, man. Okay, the Lord you have by Shema Shai is on a mission. He's not playing. But people think that he is. Okay, and soon people go know that prophets of the Lord have been among them. Because what we're saying is kind of kind of past, man. Okay. And we can end it off on here. Oh, it's like I didn't get this part. Uh, excuse me. It says, um, I skipped the part. Let's go back in Isaiah 26 and verse 20. And it says, hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the in until the indignation be repassed. And what's that indignation? The, the nuclear destruction. Okay. The righteous anger that the Lord has towards Babylon. All right. So they let, you know, they're going to be beamed up and delivered and liberated. Okay, into a, into a uh, a chamber, so to speak. All right, and then while that's happening simultaneously, this place, America, aka Babylon, is going to be burned up into smithereens. All right, Just to end off one here, Zechariah fourteen. Excuse me, thirteen. Zechariah thirteen and verse eight, and it says, "And it shall come to pass that in all the lands of the Lord, meaning in what land? Babylon, America." Say the Lord, two parts their end shall be cut off and die. Right. That's talking about two thirds of our people. 
All right. Because they're because they're evil. Now, of course, like I said earlier, ultimately, you know, Israel, we, hey, we, 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 you know, we all must be saved because, you know, we're Israel, you know, we're, we're the chosen people of the Lord, you know, but on this side, they're going to be cut off and come back through the, the loins of the elect in the kingdom. Okay. And it says, but the third shall be left there in. Okay. So, and that's talking about, you know, the, uh, the elect. Verse nine, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire. And we will find them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it, it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. Because right now the elect are, you know, the elect truly are the Lord's people. Two thirds not in their right mind. So really they're not the Lord's people, you know, by lineage. Yes. But right now in, in their in their state of mind, you know, no, because they're Gentiles, you know, they got to be cleansed by that fire. But us right now, you know, we're going through, uh, we're going through the uh, the baptism, okay, the furnace, the uh, the furnace of adversity, all right. And, and guess what? You know, the, this baptism is, is is purging us, you know. And, and right now, the um, you know, uh, us being a bride, Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, right now is uh is grooming us, so that way, you know, once he come, you know, we'll be adorned, and, and you know, then through that, he's gonna deliver us, man. So that way the bride and groom can be can become one all you know all together once again. Okay. So that being said, I was gonna say call Lam La Yahwa Bahashim Yahw Shai Bahashim Kakwadash. And Lord's will this lesson was edifying to Anki Mount there. That being said, Shalom.